GPT 4.5 is finally here, and it's OpenAI's largest and most human-like model to date. It's really the next step in scaling up unsupervised learning. It has a lot more deeper understanding of the world and of human experience. 4.5 excels at natural conversation, creative tasks and complex planning. It also hallucinates far less than previous models. However, reactions have been somewhat muted, largely because its benchmark improvements over GPT-4.0 are, relatively speaking, incremental. Still, this launch is an important milestone and could be the foundation for the next generation of models. So let's decode what sets 4.5 apart and what it tells us about the future of AI. After GPT-4 was released early in 2023, anticipation started building about what would come next. But months came and went, and the widely anticipated GPT-5 never arrived. Through 2024, rumours swirled around the internet about mysterious internal projects named Strawberry and Orion, fueling immense speculation throughout the tech world. And finally, in December, OpenAI revealed the first of these new models, O1, a model capable of reasoning or systematically thinking through complex problems step by step, clearly surpassing GPT-4 in maths, coding and logical tasks. Anticipation then shifted towards another rumoured OpenAI project, Orion, which some speculated to be GPT-5. Recently though, Sam Altman confirmed that Orion would actually be released as GPT-4.5. And now, it's finally here. 4.5 is by far OpenAI's largest model yet, potentially more than 10 times the size of GPT-4. And it represents a step forward in scaling up pre-training and post-training. The final result is the model that users can interact with today. But if it's not a frontier reasoning model, what is GPT 4.5 actually for? According to OpenAI researchers, 4.5 stands out for its emotional intelligence. You can have much more deeper conversations about maybe more curious facts that 4.0 or even 0.1 or 3 mini don't really you know, know about. But also, we think that it has a much better understanding of what humans want. That really gets what you mean when you ask for something. And that's been really the, the like, magical experience for people at OpenAI for myself working with the model. GPT 4.5 achieves around 61.9% accuracy on benchmarks like Simple QA which evaluates how effectively models can answer single relation factoid questions. That compares to GPT-4O's 38.4%. It also cuts hallucination rates dramatically, down to roughly 37% from GPT-4O's 61.2%. Practically speaking, this means 4.5 is more trustworthy for general inquiries than 4O. On the creative side, GPT-4.5 seems to really shine. Whether you're drafting emails, generating imaginative stories, telling jokes, brainstorming new ideas, GPT 4.5 produces distinctly more human-like prose than 4.0. On the two benchmarks that evaluates a model's persuasive power, make me pay and make me say, 4.5 easily surpasses models like 4.0 and 0.1. Early high-taste testers on Twitter and other social media have also pointed out that 4.5 is often capable of actually being quite funny and seems to understand irony in a way that other models fail to grasp. In our own testing of 4.5 before its public release, we found the model to be far better on these sort of softer, subjective tasks than other models. Unlike O1 or O3, which are measured more on hard metrics, researchers relied in part on vibes testing when measuring 4.5 outputs. Our key evaluations is working with humans who try out the models, who give us feedback on, you know, is this better than GPT-4? Uh, where is it better? Where is it worse? And then that's something that we can adapt to. And we, we do a lot of work with these trainers, that's what we call them, to kind of align on what does it mean for something to be good? And then we use their feedback to improve. Of course, the problem with that 
is that it's quite hard to come up with specific evaluations of subjective areas like writing quality, emotional intelligence, and model feel. What is good writing, right? Like, what is good writing to you? What is good writing to me? I think that really depends on context. It depends on the audience. We're definitely trying to capture some of these things in evaluations, but it's just much more subjective, which is why we're putting it out there. We really want people to kind of try it out and tell us if they have the same experience that we are having. But GPT 4.5 is not without limitations. For one, it's far more expensive than any other OpenAI model right now. Per input token, 4.5 is 30x more expensive than 4.0, and per output token, it's 15 times more. Such high costs mean GPT 4.5 is likely not yet a suitable option for those looking to deploy the model at scale. In terms of capabilities, as expected, when compared to specialized reasoning first models like O1, GPT 4.5 falls notably short in things like structured reasoning domains, including complex STEM tasks, advanced math problems, and tough coding challenges. So what's the bigger picture here? GPT 4.5 shows that scaling unsupervised learning continues to yield valuable improvements in accuracy, emotional intelligence, and creativity, even if these gains are now perhaps more incremental than what we've previously seen. The era of scaling pre-training may not be completely over, but reasoning now appears to offer the most potential for squeezing gains out of scaling compute. That is to say, investing more at inference time rather than training. Looking ahead, Sam Altman has suggested that the two paradigms, unsupervised pre-training models like GPT 4.5 and specialized reasoning-focused models like O3, will converge into a unified architecture that we might see in GPT 5. We do think that reasoning is going to be a core capability of future models, but these two paradigms, they sort of, they're not exclusive. They, they actually complement each other really well. So you could imagine that a model that has the, the knowledge and the intuition of GPT 4.5, but then combined with reasoning, that would be a really strong model. So GPT 4.5 is a crucial bridge towards that future. Models could soon blend vast world knowledge, creative fluency, emotional nuance, and advanced reasoning all in one model. The implications are incredibly exciting. The era of choosing between broad understanding and powerful reasoning may soon come to an end. GPT 4.5 provides a glimpse into that future, one where AI systems combine the best of both paradigms. I have news for you guys. YC is throwing our first ever AI startup school in San Francisco on June 16th and 17th. Elon Musk, Satya Nadella, Sam Altman, Andre Karpathy, Andrew Eng, and Fei Fei Li are just a few of those confirmed, the world's top AI experts and founders who will teach you how to build the future. It's a free conference just for computer science grad students, undergrads, and new grads in AI and AI research, and we'll even cover your travel to SF. But you have to apply, and space is limited. Link in the description to apply for a spot.